Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your tarot reading. So I feel like the major theme for this month is for you to slow down a little bit and to sort out your financial situation so that you can achieve financial equilibrium. And what I mean by that is I feel some of you might have had a financial windfall that came into the picture where you're able to catch up on, you know, late bills, where you're able to pay back creditors, where you're able to pay back everything that you owe. And then I'm also sensing as well in the process of doing that, you know, it's, it's never easy to um, relieve ourselves of money that we feel, you know, is owed to us. But at the same time, I feel like you're at a point right now where you have a clean slate, you have a, a clean start, you have a bl blank page when it comes to writing your financial life. Okay, so like whatever has been has gone awry in the past, you've learned from it and now you have an opportunity to start over. You have an opportunity to start from scratch. And I feel like not a lot of people get these reset moments, but I feel this is the month that's coming in for you to really be thankful for that, be appreciative of that, and to, you know, start over, okay? Um, I'm sensing that there are some of you who have, uh, still are struggling with this, okay? There's this image I'm feeling that you want to project into the world. And there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone has their own persona that they want to be seen as. And I feel for many of you, it's like this really stoic, very strong, very um, courageous and capable and, and prosperous image that you want to project. It's almost like a Leo energy. And then, you know, so that's your image. But the reality, whatever is underneath it is, I feel like it's very hidden, either purposely or just that you don't want people to see the real you and the real you might be might deal with financial issues might deal with a lot of financial uncertainty might deal with um knowing too much at work and you don't want to you know succumb to office politics and a lot of the times too you, you are really really personable and likable sign people like you people really just you know they they're like oh that cancerian people that person, that's a really nice girl or a nice guy. So I feel like they they like you, they can confide in you. And as a result of it, you start to know too much. You start to know what's going on at work from the top down before everybody else gets uh, snippets of it. So you, you are, you know, somebody that others can confide in. And so in the process of rectifying, balancing out that image that you want to project versus everything else that's going on underneath. You want to be a little bit careful and, you know, you want as well to take care of you. Whatever people are coming to you with, that's their problem. That's really their problem, okay? And so don't try not to internalize it and try not to let it bother you, okay? Um, I see a lot of people talking about housing situations. Yep, housing housing situations coming through. So a lot of you and another person talking about housing arrangements. Um, but I feel like there's disagreements. There's disagreements as to who's going to get what, who's going to live where, how things are going to get divvied up, uh, where you're even living. So I feel like that coming into the picture. But nothing is really resolved. So I see that element coming in about you talking to members of your family about a living situation and uh, so forth and then i'm also sensing as well they mention um a very unconventional relationship okay so i feel like this is the month where you're spending a lot of time a lot of resources a lot of energy trying to move a relationship along it seems like a good relationship but it just seems to me that um once again be careful about your spending because I feel like you might be trying to please, to impress, to move too fast with a relationship. And they're really telling you to slow down. They're really telling you to, you know, take care of practical uh, manner matters. And they're really telling you, you know, um, the person will still be there. They're not going anywhere. So you might want to just be careful about that, right? Let me see here. The last thing that um, I'm feeling with this, um, the messages that came out earlier while I was shuffling for you, 
is um, I'm sensing this element here about you guys being a little bit hard on yourself. It's, it's more like you feel like you're not exactly where you want to be. You're not making enough. You're not able to, even though you have a lot that's going on in your life right now that's really positive, you want more. You, you feel like you're capable of a lot more. And more will come into the picture. It's just right now, you know, enjoy the moment. Enjoy the slowdown, okay? I feel like that needs to be said because a lot of you are just dashing ahead and you might be a little bit scattered, like all over the place is what I'm feeling. And... Um, this element about, you know, I have a lot more that I can give. I feel that, first of all, um, take care of everything in your environment right now. Take care of the things that are immediately affecting you right now. Because there is a time and a place what, for, for, you know, things to come into the future. But just right now, just enjoy the moment. Be thankful for everything that's in the picture for you right now and really try to balance out your financial situation okay so let me just get into your reading here um the first thing that is coming up here this is your energy the page of cups and uh, with this energy this is a very very likable very um honest wear their heart on their sleeves popular charming very likable harmless type of a person and i mentioned before this is the way that other people see you they see you as someone who's not calculating, who's without malice, who's very likable, a little bit on the naive side. And um, whether or not this is, you know, playing in your favor, you want to be a little bit careful because I feel like, you know, this is an energy that can be easily persuaded, easily manipulated, um, somebody who is easy to affect and persuade. So it's like they tell you one thing and you might fall for it, okay? And that might not be the reality of what the situation entails. But I feel like whatever information is coming in, it's like you're absorbing information like a sponge. And you need to make sure the sources of the information, you also need to be very careful that they're giving you information without ulterior motives, okay? So I feel like be careful about where your sources are. If you are in any capacity like... Um, doing you know journalism do uh, writing and you need to verify your sources this is a card coming in indicative of that okay don't trust everything that you see you need to dig a little bit deeper and i also feel like you need to know the ins and out of a story and that there are also multiple sides to the story i feel like with this card this is a, a little bit of a gullible energy and i don't like seeing it often it's almost like somebody knows how to affect you emotionally a lot of the times too. You might not like somebody like for the things that they do, but because they can affect you emotionally, you they, they might invoke your sympathy, they might invoke your, your uh, pity. And so you're naturally drawn to them even though they're not the right people to be around or even though they're not even the right people, like the good people f to be around, okay? So just be careful about this. What you see is not what you get. Delve a little bit deeper. Take everything that comes to you with a grain of, of salt. I, I'm not telling you to be, you know, extra suspicious, but I feel that it needs to be said because this is what I was feeling when I shuffled out the cards earlier. So naivety. Um, you know, just make sure that no one is pulling a fast one on you, okay? Um, what we have here, I feel, with this chariot card, I feel like there have been promises made in the past for a lot of riches, for a lot of wealth, for a lot of success. People might have, you know, promised you promotions. They might have promised you opportunities for growth, for advancement. And if you're inside a corporation and you're competing, well, not competing, but working alongside with other people who might be in your very same position and you're, you know, kind of, um, there's, and there's like a promotion potential and there's only one slot, somebody higher ups might have, you know, made promises. Oh, you're going to get that job. I'm going to make sure I'll put in a good letter of recommendation for you. You're a shoe in for that job. And you wait and wait and wait and wait around for it. And it just never materialized, okay? So this is, I feel, it's not news to you because this is moving into the past, okay? So I feel like some promises that were made to you, you were starry-eyed, you were very, very hopeful. And for whatever reason, it just never materialized the way that you wanted or the way that you envisioned. 
And so moving forward, I feel like there's this big, big shift here. You were like this and, you know, the, the nice guy, the nice girl didn't want to cause any problems, didn't want to confront people. This is not a confrontational energy. This is actually someone who's a um, very conflict avoidant and they want everyone to get along. You know, they want everyone to like each other. They want the environment to be very harmonious and to be very nice. And I feel like whatever happened in the past where these promises were made but never materialized, um, you still had hopes in it. So it's almost like regardless of, you know, how much time has elapsed since the promises were made, I feel like you still had hopes. You still feel like, oh, no, I'm going to wait around for it a little bit more. I'm going to wait, 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 wait a little bit longer. And the waiting process is basically waiting for this one thing to materialize because deep down you feel like, no, it's kind of like being a little bit in denial about somebody's intentions, not trusting that what you see is what you get with them. They made promises and they couldn't deliver and you're still waiting around from it thinking, oh no, it couldn't have been that bad. They didn't lie to me. They, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and it's going to materialize. And so this month, they're telling you, you know, while you're waiting for this, other opportunities are coming in and they're going to swiftly pass you by. So the important thing for this month is take stock. Take stock. What have you learned already? And take stock. Where do you need to be? How can you draw back your energy and take care of yourself? Okay. It's not about taking care of other people. It's not about waiting around for other people. It's just what do you need to do right now? So rather than holding on to, you know, this sense of idealism, oh, they're going to follow through. They're, they've already promised me, so they're, of course, going to follow through. And you never bring it up to their attention. You never call them out on it or you never, you know, um, accepted the fact that Maybe they just talk bluff. Maybe they don't really mean anything that they say. So I feel, you know, uh, cancers, it's really important for you to have a little bit of um, clout in you. It's really important for you to even be a little bit more confrontational rather than take things lying down. Because I feel like this might be a recurring thing where people take you for granted or they, they, um, you know, they, they take your kindness for weakness okay so just um something to be mindful about so moving forward what this month is really really about here making practical decisions doing some long-term planning so that you don't end up in the same spot being very very self-sufficient and self-reliant so that you can take care of you and you can get yourself where you need to go so we see this major energetic shift here naivety, you know, wanting, seeing the best in people, waiting around for people to um, follow through, that's not going to happen anymore, okay? That needs to be kind of winged out of your psyche, winged out of your vocabulary. So I, I feel like you're, you're going through a major, major eye-opening, or you have gone through a major eye-opening experience. And so moving into the rest of this month, be practical. Put your energy and your attention elsewhere. Go to another job, go to another place, seek another promotion, or at least, you know, if you feel a lot of stagnation, if you feel blocked here in this work environment, if you feel like the people are very cutthroat, very selfish, very competitive, go elsewhere where they really appreciate your contribution, where you can get the, you know, recognition that you deserve, you can get the, the congratulations, you can get the, the value and the appreciation for the work that you do. So we need to be a little bit more practical, pragmatic, and less idealistic when it comes to, you know, um, making changes for yourself in your own life, okay? So the Page of Pentacles, um, this usually indicates to me some type of a job coming in. It can require, because it's a page, it's like you're starting out on a new path. You're beginning something. You're very hopeful, very starry-eyed, but I feel like it's better than this Page of Cups where it's a lot more practical, it's a lot more grounded, and it's a lot more pragmatic. Um, this can also be on-the-job training. This can also be a situation where you're doing an internship. 
and you're hoping once I do the internship, I'm going to get, you know, into the company. So it's it's like you're starting on some type of a stepping stone venture so that you can be set up for the rest of your life. OK, and I feel like you're doing really well. You are where you're you need to be. You're doing really well. You're getting really positive reception uh, from, you know, higher ups, from the people around you, from the people that want to be with you. Um, I'm from the people that are in your environment. I feel like you are in the right place, career-wise, professionally. And I'm also sensing as well, if you are outshining other people. So for example, if you're starting a training program and there's a group of you in the same position, um, you know, draw back your energy. Don't play that nice person where you, um, you try so hard to, you know, please other people. I feel like it's really important to draw back your energy, focus on what you're doing, look at where you're headed. Okay. And, and focus on that because I feel like there might be a little bit of internal jealousy in the work environment. And uh, not that there's sabotage or anything like that, that you need to worry about. But I feel like these people are not going to be around. They're not going to be around for long. They're not going to be around forever. So don't waste your time and don't scatter your energy towards dead end friendships, dead end relationships and dead end, you know, nice cities, like social niceties. I just feel like it's it's not really serving you. It um, it makes you a lot more exposed, mainly because I feel like they see that you're such a nice, sweet, honest person and they might take advantage of it. OK, so I, I want you to be a little bit careful. And I've been feeling this for you guys for like two years that I've been doing tarot. Um, so especially last year, I mentioned, you know, you need it to close some doors. And I feel like you 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 leave some doors ajar and you you kind of look back, you peek through that door every once uh, in a while. And, and, you know, you try to figure out what's happening with the people that you've left behind. So the point here is be very resolute. OK, um, have get yourself anchored, figure out where you're going. Okay. This process of shifting back and forth, being fickle, um, I don't feel it's serving you well. So you need to take a different, a more directed, a less scattered approach when it comes to your life. Okay. Um, if you've been struggling financially too, I feel like this is the month where making these practical decisions to pay back loans, to sort out your financial situation, to even set up um, installment payment plans so that the, the, the debt is a little bit more manageable, that's going to be very good for you. So I do see a big major shift happening in your life. This is something that is much needed. Okay. The tower in the reverse basically means these are things that you know that needs to change in your life. And finally, this is the month where the awareness happens. The denial is uplifting. And so you can't really, you're confronted with this energy and you can't deny it anymore. So I feel like for many of you, housing situation needing to, it's, it's almost like being open. Your eyes are opening. What have I done in the past? How have I contributed to my own financial prosperity? Um, you know, as hard as you worked in the past, what do you have to prove to show for it? Like w what t kind of material, physical, tangible things do you have to show for it? Are you coming in empty handed, still relying on other people for, you know, help? Or are you starting at a point in your life where you are able, capable of taking care of yourself? So I feel like we have two very strong, um, two like different energies coming through. Some of you might be still be here. Some of you are shifting, but either way, I feel like this is a, a major, major shift that's happening for you where old ways of doing patterns from the past are no longer viable. And especially I'm also sensing as well. Um, I mentioned earlier discussions about where you're living, where you're staying, who you're going to be living with and what city and things like that. All of these things are coming in. And so what I'm feeling is, you're still very much stuck in this place. Success is coming in and this success is helping to really restore your sense of self worth, your sense of, you know, uh, capability, your confidence in yourself. And I feel like a lot of the times, um, cancer, you come into the world with this kind of like, you know, let me place the nice guy. Let me, you know, be nice to everybody. 
but I feel like there is an innate sense of like wanting others to like us so much because we don't have the confidence in ourselves. This is the month that's going to change all of that where you get the external recognition for everything that you are worth, for everything that you've done so far, for your, you know, ability to help people, for your niceness, for your kindness. And so that's really providing a major self-esteem boost for you. And because of that, you're able to see, you know, what are some of the things that I've been doing so uh, in the past that was not helpful for me? What are some in enabling and self-limiting behaviors that I revert to? And I feel like you're going to be leaving all of that in the past, okay? We still have some things that you need to sort out. And a lot of it, I feel, has to do with independence. This is like accepting uh, offers from other people. When it shows up in the reverse, it's almost like, yes, you're going to give me that, but I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to have to say no. So I feel like, you know, being very, very self-sufficient, being very, very uh, independent, and I feel like there's still some blockages here. It's like the last hurdle for you to overcome. And once you come overcome that, you're going to be in a, sp in a space where you're strong, where you are d divinely guided, where you are protected, and you're going to feel really good about yourself. And you're going to feel like, I don't need to pander to anybody else. I can work for myself, I can take care of myself, and I can start, you know, having the life that I want. So once we're at this stage in our life, coming through towards the end of this month, I feel like, you know, that self-doubt, that guilt, whatever you feel like you should have done, it wouldn't matter anymore. Because now you're at a point where you can redirect your energy, where you can take care of things that have been falling on the wayside, or you can take care of people that really mean a lot more to you, okay? Um, so, you know, the, the journey for this month is a lot about you need to take care of yourself first before you can take care of other people. And you need to be financially stable first before you can make your dreams a reality. And so I feel like the, the focus is about finances, is about finding that sense of, you know, self-worth. It's about really doing things to take care of yourself rather than, you know, telling other people, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. But then the, the plans are, are not realistically thought out. So this is the month where you take a different approach and you start to be a lot more pragmatic and a lot more self-sufficient. Okay. So I hope that is helpful for you guys and I wish you all the best. Okay. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.